Hey guys, Dieter Melhorn here. It's day number two of our little Tennessee Palooza trip. I'm going up here doing some fishing in eastern Tennessee on the Tennessee River. Got my trusty sidekick Grayson with me. Got a good night's sleep. Got our clothes dried from uh, the monsoon we got caught in yesterday and we're headed back today. All right, guys, uh, we got out here on Watts Bar. It's a lot calmer than I thought it was gonna be. I thought we'd have a little more wind, but it's nice and calm. We're anchored up, it came up shallow on a point, drops off steep on one side. Uh, got a little island here. Marked a couple of fish, decent ones. Uh, we put out a couple of big baits, a couple of small baits for entertainment. The big baits are big, big baits. They're like hog leg baits. So we're gonna see what we got. See if Boy Wonder can catch the monster that got away yesterday. We're not far from where we hooked it, so we'll see what happens. Got a little bit of current, nothing strong. Uh, it's a little bit of a wind out of the opposite direction, so we actually have two anchors out. I don't think the current's quite strong enough to pull us tight, but we will probably turn on some more water this afternoon. And We're just gonna fish and enjoy a beautiful day in Tennessee, a lot nicer uh, weather outlook than we had yesterday. Grayson's hooked up on one, and now the wind's going to blow. Okay. Okay. Coming at the bay. Yeah. I think I better go land this fish for it. And there's Grayson's fish, about 10, 11, about 11 pounds. Decent one. Top of the camera. Hello, yeah. world. Give it a shout out. Ooh, right. what is that to on his face? What's he got there? It's like a slug. Oh, it's a little leech. Okay. Good fish. He's lucky he's getting to get back. First fish, woohoo! Hooked up on a small one, some shallow water. There we go. Ooh, what do you want on the side? Oh, that Another small one. There he is. That lens still wants to fog up on that thing. I don't care how long I put Daddy, it in the sun. Daddy, look what's going on his butt. I ain't grabbing it this time. Some grass. Rod broke. What? Rod broke. How'd it break exactly? I don't know. Probably when you lifted it up. Shouldn't have broke it though. First time I've ever broken in my life. Like. A dead ugly stick. She finally bit the dust. And went to tip in the lake. <laughs> Retire that one from the arsenal. Grayson, what have we been doing for the past five minutes? Eating chips for salsa. Yeah. And guess what? What? There's been a fish on that rod right there for half the time. Well. That's how little that fish is. <laughs> That's how small he is. Rod's been sitting there bopping while we were eating chips and salsa. That's his new thing, chips and salsa. How do you know? How do you know it's bopping? I was sitting there watching it. <laughs> so when we, I wonder how long it was bopping. I don't know. If this thing weighs a pound, I'll be shocked. Wow. Wow. That's about a 12 ounce fish. That's almost a pound. I want to, let's weigh it. I'm not even, back up, back up. There you go. Hey, little. All right, guys, we just went to drifting. Doing some trolling and uh, hooked up almost immediately. Another either size. All right, folks, give you a little breakdown. Uh, we anchored in a couple of different spots this morning. Uh, picked off some fish, all small fish again. Not even any teeners this morning. Uh, it looks like the water about shut down. Uh, there's virtually no current right now. 
so uh we decided to do some drifting we got a little bit of wind out of the north so kind of gonna drift across some little uh creek ditches and some humps and some flat spots just to see if there's any fish out here uh it's gonna be tough at this point but we're gonna see if we can pick some off racing passing the time on the phone Lift, nice and steady. Don't jerk up. There you go. There you go. You know the deal. Lift, 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 take up line. Lift, 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 take up line. There you go. Nice and smooth. You don't have to jerk on it. Oh, it's gonna be the biggest one. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna be a world record, but it'll be the biggest one we've caught. Today. <laughs> yeah. Doing right. You got him up turned now. You got his nose coming at you. There's some current. Current's ripping pretty good now. All right, guys. We gave up on the drift. We got out here to the main channel, and all of a sudden the boat started going sideways. We had a drift sock out to slow us down for the wind. We got all kinds of hockey jawed anchored up right here on the channel ledge. Got some baits down and hooked up on a decent fish. I think it'll be a nice one. Be a nice one for us. We've had nothing but small fish today. Okay. Good job. What do you think he weighs? Uh, he's probably 12 pounds. Oh my god! That current's got him. Yeah, he's not super huge, but he's down with that current. He's swimming off the side. Fish feel a really huge. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Big flathead, big flathead. Oh, oh big flathead. Oh, 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 now I'm excited. Oh, you get to see my face going, oh, ho, 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 ho. flatty, flatty. I saw that green, I saw that yellow come over there. Flatty, flatty. There he is. <clears throat> Easy. There we go. Nice flatty. Nice. Big on mouth. Once more flathead. Yeah. With his first Tennessee River flathead. A nice one. About 18, 19 pounds, I think. All right, you want to dump him back in? Yeah. There you go. Flip him in the water. All right, Mr. Grayson is taking a break watching some YouTube. He's being a real champ. We're having a pretty long day out here. Fishing hard, fishing hard for a monster. And I've got a little Eater Blue. Another one. I'm actually going to keep this one. Uh, can't tell if it's wrapped up or if it's a decent fish. Nope, I think it's just wrapped. Grayson's getting picky now. He's uh he's getting me to make the call on whether they're big or not. Grayson, monster, the corner rod, corner rod, big fish. Big fish. You gotta keep wait. I mean land this one. That one went over like a good one. This fish in. Got one more eater here. That looks like a good one, Grayson. If it's that, flat, that same flathead. All right, finally got three good eaters that are a decent size worth cleaning. That's He's on top. top of the water. He may not be that big. Yeah, don't jerk on him. See if he'll unwrap. Uh, just, well, keep pressure on him. But he looks acting like he's wrapped. Hey, he ain't as big as I thought. That damn it. Still a good fish, though. He slammed that like a freight train. We can see it. Use that rod. There you go. He'll be about 13 pounds. Yeah, he's kind of whisker hook. He may pop off. It's all right. All right, there's Grayson. Not a 12 pound blue. It's a nice one. We're going to let him go. We got three good ones in there, about five, six pounds. I know, it's kind of scratched up a little bit. There's a lot of little stuff in this fish here noticed not sure what all that is anyway all right get that one back in the water all right guys i'm hooked up on another one getting late in the day we're getting ready to head back to the house we've had a good day this will be number 20. that's a good eater size fish 
cut three, a little bit bigger than this that we kept to eat. We're gonna have us some fish back home when we get home this week. Got one nice flathead. Another one that gets away. With that, I'm gonna call it a day. I hope y'all enjoyed day two of our Tennessee River trip. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button down in the corner and stay up to date on all the videos. And uh, be sure to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. We've got one more day left, so I think we may be swinging for the fences tomorrow.